Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're laden up as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Sergeant Jerome. Hey! It's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Murtaugh! Murtaugh, come in! Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Oh, what the hell is going on up there? Please, uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. The experiment. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, uh, copy. Damn, Gordon. Good morning, Dr. There was Freeman. A coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those CPS reports have got. Oh, would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Yes, Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. I've already made plans. But don't worry. You can always attend the next The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated. Bah. I can't stand. <laughs> Morning, champ. Hello. You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you'd best make like an atom split.
why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Rat. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Excuse me. Minor emergency. Thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. What's up, Doc? Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Gordon? Ah, Gordon! There you are! Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The Administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. 